Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so Aquarius, um, it looks like you have a lot of relationship cards. So you're either in one or there's a relationship that wants to come in for you. And you also have a lot of cards that speak of a past person. So for those of you out there that don't want anyone from your past, you can click off now. You don't have to leave comments about that. All right. It looks like there's a past person who is doing a lot of thinking about you, maybe even dreaming about you, dreaming about having the relationship back because they feel like being with you is awesome. And maybe you feel that way too. But somebody's playing the victim or the martyr here. Now, things could have happened to you, around you, it happened in this relationship to where maybe you felt victimized because everything is perception, right? But the cards are asking you to come out of that and determine if you really want this relationship. Um, the cards are asking you with balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon and Pisces. They want you to, they want you to know that the person that you're inquiring about is a soulmate. You need to make a firm decision about this person. Um, Again, follow your intuition because it's not going to let you down. It's also telling you that maybe at this time you're being super romantic, but not super realistic. Because we do have the love card here. Or there's someone around you being super romantic, but not realistic. There's a need for you to meditate and contemplate. Also, this card surprisingly talks about makeovers maybe you feel like you need a makeover because we also have the the old woman card coming up so you feel like there's a need sometimes this card can feel like you're running out of time or that you need you need to do something this is also can talk about fear of aging this card can also talk about Wanting to incorporate something from your past into your present, but being so rigid in your thinking. So, some of you, I don't know, it, look, it happened, whatever it was. Something transpired between you and another person. Make sense of it. Heal from it. Get over it. Get back with the person. Don't get back with the person. It is all up to you because you also have the if you believe card. Um, and you have the um, a win-win forecast is out. A win-win outcome is forecast. So this talks about you being rewarded um, and being re rewarded. Whatever it is you're wanting, hoping, wishing for, it coming into you very soon, within the next few weeks. You need to look for a sign in terms of which way to go because some of you are feeling trapped in your mind, in your heart, in your feelings. This also could be in terms of business and making some business relationship move. Um, business also can be your job. You know, if you want to move out of your job into something else, you're feeling stuck or limited limitations. You're feeling trapped encapsulated. Some of you, this is about a person. This is also about a job or business. You could also be waiting for approval or money. It's here for you. It says that a good news about a document, legal papers will come into you. You also have the lover, the male seeker, and then the female seeker, which is the sweetheart. 
So you have a dynamic here and then you have reunion. Like I said, some of you want it, it, it can happen for you, but it's like there's a stagnation here or somebody holding this up because maybe someone was a liar. Someone is a liar, but they're saying, look, I give you money. So that should be enough. And maybe at one point it was enough for you with the money card coming up. It says that you can have an increase in whatever you're doing. Luck is here. As you see, a win-win outcome is forecast. It looks like there's a lot of likeness, a lot of love between two people. But so much has transpired that you guys can't see your way back to each other. But you want to come back to each other. Someone is asking or needs to ask for forgiveness. Someone is beating themselves up or punishing themselves for what happened, what transpired. Someone's playing the victim and or trying to be a martyr in this relationship. What does it get you? So you always have to be asking yourself, what is my end result? What's the end game here? If you don't want to be with a person, then be the martyr, cut them off completely, fully don't watch tarot card readings blah 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 whatever be done with it but if you want this person back you're going to have to go through a sense of recovery some healing so that you can get past what transpired so that your heart can then be open again for this person because there's like love wanting love wanting to come in and then there's somebody stopping it. And it's just like, well, what's happening here? And spirit wants you to choose a new direction of how you deal or how you have been dealing with things. Um, some old way is outdated. This also talks about things being outdated. The old woman. Some of you have been going in the same cycle for a while, maybe with the same person or with different people, but doing the same damn thing. At this point, the common denominator is you. So what can you change about you to have a different out outcome? The law of attraction is always working for us or for some of us against us, especially when we are not healed individuals because we get unhealed individuals that come into our lives. And we have to deal with that all over again so it's like Aquarius the gist of this reading is love is here the universe wants to bring you that because they feel like you deserve it it could happen within the next few weeks you could also get good news about a legal contract or something to where this a document or application you can get a, a yes answer or just good news about it within the next few weeks you can also get what you want it says a dream could be realized and there's a win-win outcome forecast for you. This also talks about the start of a new relationship. This card also talks about the start of a new relationship too, only if you drop the act of, it happened to me, they did this to me. They, and, and very well, it may be valid, but what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do about it? Do you want to just be done with this person completely or do you want to work through it? And that's, and that is, you know, if you believe and it's all up to you, surprise that card didn't come out. So Aquarius, the gist of the reading is love, money. All of these things are here for you, but something about you or a situation is limiting you. Look how he holds his head in his hand. So something about your thinking or how you think, being rigid in your thinking and your doing, all these limitations on you to where you can't, something can't flow here. Okay? So Aquarius, or I'm not discounting or discrediting the fact that maybe somebody did you wrong. Like, we all have the story, okay? including me, you know, lump me in there too. But at the same time, what do you, what do you want to go with this? You know, um, at this point, it seems as if somebody's beating a dead horse and it might be time for you to get over it, move on, um, accept P 
people at face value also. What you have experienced is possibly what you will experience with this person. Um, there is somebody wanting to come back. And you have to listen to your intuition about that. If you want to allow it back, them back, or you don't. And it's all up to you. And you can have what you want if you believe, okay? So Aquarius, thank you for being here. Um, many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below if you want to get your own oracle reading just like this one. Um, or any reading, go to the website. You can also text a question or two to the number below. You can also uh, donate to the channel if you feel like you took something from the reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings.